We're here at the example table. In this video, we're going to talk about tangent lines and polar coordinates. So let's let r equal sine of 2 theta. We want to find the slope of the tangent line of this curve when theta equals pi over 6. Let's start with a sketch. So I'll leave it to you to verify that this curve looks roughly like this. Probably a little bit more even. That's what you get when you sketch. Let's draw some dotted lines. Now keep in mind that this, what I've drawn here, is a graph in the plane with a polar coordinate system. So this horizontal line is r, uh, excuse me, is theta equals zero. It's not the x-axis. This line is theta equals pi over 2. It's not the y-axis. Likewise, these dotted lines are 45 degrees off of all of these, of these angles. But if we want to talk about the slope of a tangent line, we're talking about something that is intrinsically, that intrinsically lives in the xy coordinate system. So when theta is pi over 6, uh, it's roughly, let's say, here. So we're looking at a tangent line somewhere around here. When we talk about the slope, we need x and y coordinates. Now, there are several different uh, approaches that you could take. One is to try to rewrite this curve in terms of x and y. There are various pitfalls that you can encounter when trying to do so. I'd rather not do so if I can avoid it. We're going to try a different approach. Fortunately, we know that we can, if not make a function uh, of y in terms of x, we can at least parameterize this curve. So we know that x is r cosine theta, and y is r sine theta. So r is sine of 2 theta, so we can rewrite these as sine of 2 theta times cosine of theta, and this is sine of 2 theta times sine of theta. Now, with this parameterization, we can find the slope of the tangent line using what we already know about tangent lines with parametric curves. We are looking for dy dx. This is equal to dy d theta over dx d theta. Both of these we can find now with these equations. If we differentiate y with respect to theta, we get 2 cosine 2 theta times sine of theta plus sine of 2 theta times cosine of theta. We just use the product rule here. And then we divide by the derivative of x with respect to theta, which is 2 cosine 2 theta cosine theta minus sine 2 theta sine of theta. This minus comes from differentiating this cosine. We get negative sine, so we just pull that out front. And then I'll leave it to you to evaluate this at theta equals pi over 6.